Hey, and thanks for watching Orange Dragon, the channel where you figure out the best way to spend your holidays. So me and my sister this week, we made a board game. <laughs> we made a board game for um, a family get together because we had an after Christmas party. And so um, it was called Naughty or Nice. And we're going to show you how we made it and kind of if I can manage to upload that video onto, onto um, the computer, then, then I'll show you that, that video too. So hope you enjoy. Alright, so the first thing that we did was we cut out little strips of paper so that we could write down the naughty or nice things. Um, pretty much what this game is, is you have a bunch of cups and you cover them up with tissue paper. And then you punch them and see if you got naughty or nice. We put candy in the nice ones and vegetables in the naughty ones. And with the little strips of paper, you just kind of make them up and have fun with that. You just be completely creative with those. We we made them up as we went because it always goes well with that. But we're pretty good with just making things up on the fly. Um, some examples of the stuff that we did. One of them was you slayed a dragon. And another one was... This was a nice one, was you went on a quest and retrieved the lost um, totem of Wagamachika. And yeah, there were a whole bunch of other examples and it was a ton of fun. And so just come up with a bunch of fun things. Don't be boring and write things like, oh, you did the dishes or you were nice. Do like you saved the world or you defeated your mortal enemy and stuff like that. Just be be as creative as you can with this. So we're actually... We taped the cups together because just taping them to the board wasn't very sturdy. Um, but it proved it, it had some issues with putting the tissue paper on later on. And so if you could figure out a different way to put the cups on the board, then that's probably better because it'll be easier to put the tissue paper on. We had to be a little creative with adding the tissue paper because we taped all of the cups together. And so here we are writing down the things. You can see that we're just kind of doing it off the top of our heads. It's a lot of fun doing it like that. And it's always interesting when you play the game and um, everyone reads it. It's always tons of fun if you have interesting ones. But if it's just random things, then the game isn't really as fun as it could be. So try and be creative. Like, don't be boring, guys. That's the whole point of this, this whole channel is to teach you guys how to not be boring. So don't disappoint me. Yeah, and so here we are putting them in. Um, we did half of them were naughty and half of them were nice. So all of the nice ones got candy in with them and all of the naughty ones got vegetables. But we ended up putting the vegetables in a little bit too early. And so they were kind of rotted by the time we, we actually played the game. So nobody actually got to eat their vegetables. My mom was upset that we put vegetables in the naughty ones though because she thought that they should have gotten the nice ones because it's nice to eat your vegetables. But we thought it was a, it was funny, so that that's why we did it. And so then, um, you just put them in random things because it's boring if you have all the naughties on one side and all the nices on the other side because then everyone knows what they get. It's a, it's like a game of chance. You just you just go in and you try and figure out what you get. And so, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, um, playing the game, and it was mostly younger younger kids playing but we also we got the adults to play with us as well and that was a lot of fun I took a video of it on my phone but I couldn't figure out how to get it onto the computer and so I would have I would have added that video onto here as well but I couldn't which is sad and I'm sorry guys but it just didn't work out so you'll just have to deal with just watching how we made it even if it may be a little bit boring at times but oh well and yeah so we used peas and carrots for our vegetables, which are vegetables that we like. I don't know if you guys like it or not, but I like them. And so I was sad when they rotted and I didn't get to eat them. So for the tissue paper, we just put it on as a big solid mass um, and got a little bit creative with putting it on because it didn't go over all the way. And you'll see that later. I did it like different colors and stuff. 
Um, but the problem with having it just as one big sheet is that when you punch it, it kind of pulls it off of the other cups too. So you have to do, you have to do it lightly. Like don't punch it really, really hard because you'll break the board and, um, it breaks the cups and everything. So you just kind of poke a hole is what, is what we ended up doing. Um, and so if you do this and you figure out a better way to put the cups onto the board, that would be better than just putting it on as a big solid sheet, but that's okay. I'm only showing you doing one of them. My sister did the other one at the same time. Um, and so I didn't show that one because I was videotaping the one. And I don't think that you guys need to see us doing both of them because you get the basic idea with just the one. Hey, and thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you'll be able to make a board game of your own. You have anything to say? Uh, yo. Yo, that's it. <laughs> okay, here, let's move that out of the way, okay? And so, hope you have fun and stay super awesome and have fun these holidays. Adios. Say <laughs> Yep, yeah, bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>